So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to rewire a 220 uh, plug. I'm doing this because I just bought this AHP Alpha Make 250 and it has a different plug-in than my shop is running. So I am going to chop this thing up and wire it for three straight. So this is how it's done. So first you're going to want to cut the existing plug-in off. Now that the existing plug-in is off, you can basically keep it for maybe sell it on Craigslist or something or toss it. It's uh, no good for me because I don't run this plug-in. So now that it's chopped off, you need to uh, skin back this insulated wire so you can reveal the three, it's hard to tell, it's not really focusing, the three wires that are inside this black insulated wire. Isn't really the proper tool. I mean, the Milwaukee knife is a universal awesomeness, but it's not the proper tool for this. So, as I struggle to skin back that. Now, after you have exposed these three wires, the green being ground and then the white and black being a 120 volt hot, you're going to want to uh, reveal them. So I strongly recommend you get a pair of uh, um, some wire strippers. These are a Craftsman brand. I don't know, you can even get them from like Harbor Freight or something. But to do this by hand like I just did with that knife is definitely going to be difficult. You're going to want to expose all three of them. Now that all three are exposed, you want to twist the ends, get them ready for your new plug-in. Mine's a uh, three straight like I already mentioned. And basically inside here there's just uh, some screwdriver connections that you put the wire in and once you put it in you fasten it down. So I'm going to do that and we'll be ready to roll. Woo -woo. But first let me go grab a flathead because I was just showing you how to do it with a Phillips and these are all flatheaded connections so obviously that's not going to work. Now that I have my flathead, you want to cinch these down as like hard as you can so they don't come on loose. If somebody like pulls on the cord or something, you don't want you definitely don't want these coming loose. It'll arc out all up in your plug and destroy it. Maybe even cause a fire. So one last thing you want to check before you put your your cap back on it is you want to look to see if any of your wires like your bare wire is touching another bare wire because if it is it'll instantly just like short out and you'll just constantly trip breakers mine isn't it's all insulated all the insulated parts are touching it's not just bare copper touching another bare copper as it focuses there you go so mine's all good so i'm going to take this cap and cinch her on down 
Simple enough, that didn't take too long, huh? So there you go. It's all ready, looking good. Bada bing, bada boom. So there's a quick little how-to video. I, uh, I'll try to do more as I continue to make videos and uh, I hope this helped you. If you bought this welder or if you're wiring something else like an air compressor or something. And if you have any other questions, just uh, drop it in the comments and I'll try to answer it ASAP. But I'm gonna get back to opening up my new welder. I'm really excited and uh, yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe.